Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and yes, it's been a while. I've been mainly focusing on my other channel recently because I just haven't really been hyped for or playing the games that I cover on this channel, so I didn't want to pretend that I'm excited for things that I'm not. But that all changes today, because from here on out, as they say, things are going to start getting flashy. We finally got in the trailer for Tengen, and I don't think we got a release date, they just said June. But I've heard people theorizing that it'll be early June at some event that's happening soon, if I remember correctly. So that's really exciting. Hopefully with the addition of Tengen, we'll get some just general game updates to make the online better, maybe balance patches as well. But the addition of new characters always spices up a game and I really feel like some spice right now. So Tengen, obviously, bruh, the design is awesome. I like, I know this is just a character art, but I love how they give us new artwork of a character when they get added into this game. They show you how the vibes of the character is going to be a lot. We've got a new stage, obviously. And the main thing about Tengen, it seems, as you can see here, is he's got wild particle effects. Like, wh what is even going on the screen most of the time in this gameplay? You can't even really tell. The only thing I can see for sure in this gameplay is what his normal attacks are, and maybe a strong attack as well. He looks pretty chaotic, and it's pretty amazing. And this awesome super where he slices the fireworks. Oh. So stylish. So stylish. I mean, not stylish. Flashy. Flashy. That's the word we have to use to describe this character. But as you can see, you can buy him on his own for 550 yen, which is like $5.80 Australian, probably like $4 American. Or you can buy all the characters in the past together for about 3,000 yen. Um, I didn't think they were gonna let us buy the pack for a bit because it seems like they were saying you can only buy them separately But we can buy them in a pack thankfully. I don't know if that makes it cheaper. I haven't actually thought about it but Let's quickly go over what we actually see in this trailer. It's not too much. These trailers are notoriously pretty short But uh, I'm gonna do it anyway because I love doing it. Old time's sake Let's put it in very slow mode. So regular attack string third hit it looks like they all have pretty decent range and like it doesn't seem like he stops on any of them. Maybe that kick will be a little bit of a letdown because it seems like he stops moving forwards for the kick. So maybe that might be a point where he drops combos a bit. But then he goes into this epic rapid slicing attack and that's probably the last hit of his standing attack string. Um, like, you know, the damaging just regular version. And then it cuts and then we get to see a few attacks and then he goes into the up version of his attack string. Dash cancels. And then he goes for a sidestep off of a dash cancel, kind of like a Zenitsu main when they like dash cancel up sidestep and dash cancel up sidestep to end their combos cheaply, which is kind of unique that they put this in this trailer, but I'm not really sure why they did because he's sidesteps and then goes for an aerial special. Don't know which one it is, but as you can see, for some reason, this special takes a long time to hit Kanjo here. I'll go frame by frame from when he starts. So he started it now. And Tanjiro is just standing there until now, where he just got hit. You can see that little bit of a slash goes across the screen. Tanjiro just got hit after all of this time of explosions and stuff going on the screen. So I don't know if this special move is going to be... Like, maybe it will have, like, completely random hit times because of throwing out the different explosions. And it'll be a kind of gimmicky tool like that. Maybe it'll hit really early or maybe it'll hit really late. Or maybe there'll be big gaps in between, but you don't know. So you can't do things correctly against it. That seems quite gimmicky if that is what it is, so I'm really not sure. Or maybe it is just this specific periodic slow hitting of the opponent, like after a full second of the move being out, then it hits the opponent. I'm not sure why that would be useful. Um, Tanjiro does get bounced a bit at the end of it. You can see for like a moment here. The, unfortunately, the trailers are not too high res. I've looked at all the re-uploads and they're all pretty low, but um, yeah, Tanjiro gets bounced a bit here, so maybe it'll be a good, like, combo extender, but I'm not sure what else it'll be useful for. Maybe it'll be good for creating a, a gap for a good frame trap, so if the opponent tries to mash, because they're like, oh, there's so much room in here, I haven't been hit for ages, and they try to press a button, but then they get hit by an explosion, that could be kind of cool. But if the opponent knows it's coming and it takes so long to actually hit them, they can easily armor through, or probably even just sidestep out of the way, so... We'll see. This is the grab we got to see like months ago when they were, had the Tengen in development. They showed us the behind the scenes, which is pretty cool. I love seeing that stuff. Decent looking grab. Now this is another <laughs> crazy scenario going on here. Does anyone know what's going on here? I... I for one do not. So, 
let's go back. So we've got all four characters on the screen, it seems. So I don't know who's support. It's probably Tengen and Zenitsu, then Tanjiro and Inosuke. I don't know who Inosuke is trying to attack. Maybe Inosuke is with Tengen and trying to attack Tanjiro here. And, or maybe... I don't know, that's not his his thing though, like why is Inosuke fighting like that? Or is there gonna be four people... Is there gonna be four people fighting? I have no idea. I don't know what's going on here. Tengen goes into some kind of grounded special though, which is different to the one we saw in the air before. Because instead of... Like doing the swinging into the explosions and having him stay in place and bouncing, he kind of like runs around... Um, flailing his weapons in the air and creating these like sporadic explosions again so many particle effects on the screen and um it's hard to tell who really got hit there Zenitsu did something Inosuke is on the floor it looks like Zenitsu got hit at the end there but I don't know if he got hit by like they can't both have gotten hit by Tengen because one of them is his support <laughs> and Tanjiro was just walking away like nothing happened so I don't really know what the point of that whole encounter was <laughs> so see so yeah Tanjiro gets hit at the start it seems. So look, because Tanjiro's, you can see his shadow like walking. He gets hit, because there's two slashes, one for Tanjiro, one for Inosuke. But then because of the weird way, I guess Tengen just walked in the wrong direction and then he walked away from Tanjiro and the move just stopped hitting Tanjiro. Or, okay, maybe it did hit Tanjiro. No, he's already recovered. There's no way it lets the opponent recover instantly. Like, maybe Tanjiro blocked that and is just walking right now. Very strange stuff. Very strange stuff. I Weird stuff like this in trailers actually makes me so excited to see what the character is actually doing in real life because we get to see how they look in-game. Like, we get to see that he his character design and his weapons and how his slashes look and his particle effects. But from this, I really have no idea what the hell he's actually doing. Is it crazy pressure? Is it plus on block? Is it weird mix-ups or gimmicks of some sort? I have no idea, which makes me ever the more keen. And this is obviously his, um, not his boost, but, um, surge mode activation. Looks really stylish. I don't think other characters have this, like, really nice background art. And we get to see his surge mode attacks. They look great, obviously. Now this is his armor attack, or his heavy attack, whatever you want to call it. It seems pretty good. It seems like he lunges forward a bit for it, so... What's the starting distance? We're about, like, two character lengths away. And he takes a big step forward to make them only about one character length away. And it seems like the armor attack reaches about three or four character lengths, so that is pretty damn... Damn good. And it goes in a straight line. It seems like it has two hits as well. So, yeah. Doesn't seem like it's going to be one that drops, like, um... Water Tanjiro's when he spins out of the way because it's just two hits ago instantly. So that seems pretty good. And it launches the opponent in the air by default, it seems. Which possibly means he can get meterless follow ups, but it does seem like it doesn't launch very high. So maybe he will have to spend meter to dash cancel it, um, unlike Akaza. But we'll just have to wait and see. I love having meterless extensions that go bring you into the air. And then this is the surge mode combo ender. I believe, oh my god, I'm sorry, but his shoulders, I know, like, I know it's a shonen, but his shoulders are bigger than his head, oh my god. Massive explosions for the combo ender. I wonder if it's a hard knockdown, we couldn't really see anything there, no, I don't know where Tanjiro is. Um, okay, okay, Nosuke is with, um, with Tengen, at least in this scene. The background looks so nice, by the way. Very, very nice. Side steps out of the way, goes for an ultimate activation. Seems like a pretty generic activation, he just lunges forward. It's pretty similar to like Inosuke or Nezuko, or most characters. And looks gorgeous. Not so much in quarter speed. <laughs> it looks kind of janky in quarter speed, actually. So let's just watch it one more time. Where it doesn't look awful. Whew, look at all those camera angles, like moving around, really trying to show off that, um, Demon Slayer vibe that it got famous for in the anime, the UFO table, 3D, 2D animation style. Did I go back far enough? <laughs> yeah, looks amazing. So stylish. I mean, flashy, flashy. <laughs> Things are getting flashy. But uh, yeah, that's what we have to see from Tengen. Um, 
if you look at like in the comments of the trailers most of the comments are either just saying he looks insane i love his particle effects and people just being like please please better online please lobby fix please endless please tournament and um yeah we haven't had any word so all we can do is cross our fingers and keep praying <laughs> That they actually care about the online play and not just people paying for DLC. So we'll see. Only time will tell. Anyways, that's all we have for Tengen today. He looks pretty damn awesome and I can't wait for about a week or so when he comes out. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>